We've got ourselves a nice tasty wiener cooking over the fire. A nice slow rotation. On this adventure, the family and I, we went camping. But we had a surprise. After roasting some wieners, telling some campfire stories, we heard something in the woods and we figured we'd better figure out what it was. Stay tuned and enjoy the series. We also go on a morel mushroom hunt and have some shooting contests. This is my brother, and that's my son, River. My brother's name is John. He's one year younger than me. Oh, and this is my older boy, Abel. Looks like he found a dead bird. Look at that head, What is this one anyway? Guys, I found the ball! No! You're, it's not to eat. That is a shallow grave. Hey! Abel was trying to bury this bird that we found dead, and uh, Bailey, John's girlfriend's dog, took off with it. And as Abel's chasing it down, well, he figured out that the dog freaking ate the bird. I think it just swallowed the bird. We're kind of a goofy family, but you know what? Overall, we have a good time. And uh, I hope you enjoy this, but you know, for the most part, we just chilled, had a good old campfire, roasted some wieners, hung out with family. You lost Uncle John. It's now time to try the Ace Guava Craft Cider. Uh -oh. <sighs> Tastes like a pear, but bitter. And decently guava. good. It's like a pear slash uh, like a sour apple. Is what I would describe it as. I guess when you Is that, a, is that an agreement or do you, what do you think? It just tastes like guava to me. With like a hint of like fermentation. Oh. So I like that's why it'd be sour. Yep. Uh -huh. Let's see I'll what the think. Bailey thinks. Hmm. What did you say it was? I thought it was like between a pear and a sour apple. Maybe it's like a guava, I don't know. Have you ever tried this Ace Guava drink? Let me know what you think in the comments. I didn't really like it that much. What up, buddy? You like camping? Yeah. Huh. Oh, Abel, can you have a drink first? Easy. The following clip is meant for entertainment purposes only. Uh, the video did not come through, so I will play the audio. Uh, with the campfire. We're going after Bigfoot in the background. I think I see him. You can't see him. In the Let's listen. Mm. Let's listen. Mm. I think he stopped. We gotta be quiet. We're gonna be We don't know what we found out here. Or that guy that lost his arm. You hear that, Abel? Come on, let's go. Let's go sneak up here. I've got you, dude. Let's go up this way. He's probably not mean. Oh, careful, guys. You're going to get hurt. How close can we get? I wonder if we're scaring him or not. 
I don't know what that is. Be cool if we could see it. Oh, what was that? Yeah. Listen. Come here. We're almost there. What do you think it is, Abel? Listen. The dog. He, he he's got, got Remy. Mm. Don't worry. Where's John? Where is John? We should go find him. Ozzy. Ozzy. Whoa! That thing didn't sound happy. Should we leave? Oh, it's running. It's running for us. Early the next morning, I woke up, pulled my phone out, watched a few Guggen Squad episodes, and then we were ready to get back to the adventure. It's another morning out at the cabin. John, uh, looks like he had a hard time starting a fire. River's got his hot dog now. Is it good? Thank you. Haley's making some breakfast. She made some coffee. Mmm. Alright. Are we gonna go look to see where that thing was last night? We're gonna do this. Well, we think he's a big dude, but... Where was he? Oh, yeah. A good memory. Let's keep going. Yeah. They have been up here. Let's go this way. Water. He probably used the, uh, the barbecue, the, the silver one. Right. Hang on, don't step on the big foot feet. See it there? What is it? It's big foot. That's probably good. To Footprints. No. Dude, by the dogs. Get up there. Let's what is this? What in the hell? <laughs> is that, huh? Dude, is that a is that a massive Bigfoot shit? Dang. Oh my god, dude. It's freaking massive. Is that where he wiped his ass, or is that a yeah, footprint? He jumped up in the oh. Dude, Dude really? look at the size of it. You want to smell it, Abel? No. What in the... Dude, Abel, go on that side of it so I can show how big it is. Oh my god. Hold your gun up next to it so they can see how big it is. You know what that means, right? You that gun is bigger, cause it's longer. Dude, that is a huge poop though. Have you ever pooped that big? Oh. And it, my gun is longer. Dude, you scared the shit out of him. <laughs> Poke it with the stick, see how fresh it is. Look, is that must be his, either that's his footprint where he jumped up or that's where he rubbed his butt against the tree to Look, he had some wipe splatters. his butt. He had some oh, he sharded all over the side. Wow. He's been eating in here. Ah, I bet he's got turkey in his poop. Here, poke it. See how fresh it is. He's got sharp marks all over. Look, Abel. <whistles> Jesus. That dog is such of a JJ. Look at that tree, Abel. That's broken off right at the right height. 
Look at that. Wow. I think I found a den. You found a den? Dude, he's gotta be huge if his poops are that big. So Bigfoot, he came out last night and it was hunting us down for food, but we <laughs> run away quick. And then this morning, what happened? This morning, we went into the woods and then we, at night we stared it. And, and we, we stared the crap out of him. And while we was doing that, um, I, he exploded. Oh man. How does Uncle John know it's hey, Bigfoot? Show him how big it was. It was this huge. Okay, I think it's big. This is Abel's first downhill run, Rocky Point Edition. She love how I'm rocking it. Betty's a love of my rocket ship. And she called me Zaddy and she got a fatty and she's so provocative. I'm touring and rocking shit. Yeah, she love how I'm confident. Yeah, I'm dope with the shows and my shoes and my clothes and my gloves. You guys hungry? Thanks, babe. You're welcome, babe. Bailey helped. No, out of your mouth. All right, guys. Welcome to the Rona Games. Games while in quarantine. We got our waters. This is a drinking game, but we're drinking water today. We're being good people. Losers are going to have to chug a water. Winner gets a point. So what we got here is like shooting golf. Uh, basically, there's three holes. Everybody starts, you gotta, you, you gotta uh, start at each hole, one, two, three, and your goal is to shoot the, I believe you have to hit, you actually have to hit um, all the black holes, like those are the targets, and you have to get a pocket. So the person that gets all three holes with the lowest amount of shot count, lowest points wins. Our contestants are me with the blow gun, we've got Abel, with the BB gun, the Red Rider. We got John, blow gun in as well. You got your own blow gun? I don't. Dude, I'll just be, I'll be nice to it. Abel's up for round one. You got it, somewhere. Oh, ooh, that I, I think we should count that, dude. Yeah. Oh, you got the first round done. Woo! Look at that. So Abel, you got three. We'll say four, five, six. Seven points to the first hole. Is that in? No. Oh yeah. So John's uh five points and now he needs to hit the the finish hole. Boom. Ooh, six points. He took the lead. Boom. Alright. Oh yeah, Mom. Oh. That one was in. Look at that, I'm like tied with John right now. Five points. Then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and I haven't even hit it yet. I don't know what happened. I was doing good. Oh my God, it hurts so bad. All right, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, dude. I just broke your dart, dude. Like, you broke. Dude, another? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 points to get one fucking hole. All right, for the final round of our shooting golf competition, Abel is going to shoot. Abel, I'm guessing you know which ones to shoot. Don't stick your barrel in dirt. Um, we gotta shoot the middle one in the number three over on the right side, and then the, the red flag number black hole. You know what to do, you know. 
The ones that haven't been shot yet. Let's see who's gonna win this. I'm at 42 points, so it's not looking good. John's at like 20, Abel's at 19, or no. Yeah. He's in the lead? Yeah. Dang, Abel, you're winning. Got a glut. 24 points, which I believe technically puts you ahead of Abel. You want to just give it up to him? All right. Johnny, come here. We lost, so. I can't believe Abel beat you guys. Yeah, this is the healthiest drinking game I've ever played. Hydration. the water. Losers. Tripping about the mileage. I'll be hands on it, tapping out with a stylus. Sip too much whiskey, need some balance. Breaking habits, I'll be working while I'm chilling. Share the same ceiling, but you're not the one building. Not the same. Challenge number two we've got the old bug assault gun. We are going to have three minutes to see how many ants we can shoot in that three minutes. Whoever shoots the most, you get one point per ant. So the most points wins. The other two have to drink a thing of water. Oh, there's one. I forgot. <laughs> oh, you wounded him. Take him. Got a gun. Yeah, it's going up. Said I get a gun. Now it's going up. No, that you ain't going. That's one of them. Come on, bug us all. Beep. Beep. You got three bugs. Good job, Abel. Good effort. Good job. All right, go. Did you get him? Check the stats. My shit doubled in the month. I'm just stating facts. And you know it just begun. I ain't going back. Could have stayed inside the class, but where'd you go with that? People what? saying we gon' pop like nice and sold the caps. You can check the right, bitch. You know the deal. With that stress and face, oh, he's done. Fifteen. In them darker days, you still have to wait. I just put my stake with a drink. He must have turned it off. I, I got two more. The camera died. Probably almost out of time. Did he go away? Yeah, he tucked in a hole. I got ten. I think John beat me. There's more. How many did you get, John? Wasn't even recording. All right, I got ten. I think the camera had some issues. John won that round with sixteen bugs. The winner. Abel, you and I got to chug some waters. We lost. Why won the other one? Yeah, we got one more contest. Abel already chugged his water, so I guess I got to catch up. No. Guys, we're gonna follow uh, John and Bailey, and Bye, what is it? May first, May second. It's the second already. It's May second. We're gonna follow John and Bailey, and we're gonna look for some morel mushrooms. Only this time, because I was getting some comments of people in the eastern Oregon, like Bend area, wanting to find morels. So you guys, um, I'm not in Bend, but I am on the east side of the Cascades now. We're gonna be on the east side of the Cascades. A little later, it's May 1st, and we're gonna be looking for morels. Hold that thing out. Hold on one second. I got to focus. Yeah.
We really hope you enjoyed this Morgan's World adventure. Me and my family sure enjoyed making it. Please, to just show some support to us, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, or if you're on Facebook, hit the share button. We really need your support, and we really appreciate it. I hope you all are having a great year, even though this COVID and all the bullshit is uh, keeping a lot of people down, me included. Uh, let's do the best we can out there. Uh, we ended up driving home, found a handful of mushrooms. It wasn't anything crazy, but we did good. Peace.